Lord is going to pull a power move for you, my friend. He's going to pull a power move. Now that phrase power move, it actually means an aggressive action taken to demonstrate power and dominance. An aggressive action taken to demonstrate power and dominance. And the Lord has sent me here today to tell you that he is going to pull a power move on your behalf in order to shift something in your favor that needs shifting. Some of you are in desperate need of something to shift, something to move, something to break through, something to open. And the Lord wants you to know he is willing to do it. He is willing and able, and he is going to pull a power move on your behalf. Now with this word, the Holy Spirit reminded me of a specific account in the scriptures back in Genesis chapter 12, where the Lord did this very thing. There's a number of examples I'm sure that we could pull forth if I really spend some time thinking about it, but this is the one that the Holy Spirit highlighted. So this is the one I want to take you to. So in Genesis chapter 12, Abram had made a decision. It says to go down to Egypt. There was a famine in the land. And so he took his wife, Sarai, and it says they went down to Egypt. And how many of you know, anytime it says that they went down to Egypt, it almost never is good. Okay. It, it actually is a picture of moving away from God instead of going towards God, which often is reflected in going up to Jerusalem. So in this case, he's going down to Egypt. And in that process, he essentially says, this is a paraphrase, but he says to his his wife, listen, you're a very beautiful woman. And I know when we go down to Egypt, they're going to see you and, and somebody's going to want you. And as a result, they're going to take my life so that they can have you. So say that you are my sister. Now that was deception. That was a lie. But this whole thing that Abram was getting himself involved in revealed that he was not trusting in the Lord. So not only was Abram not willing to man up, so to speak, you understand what I'm saying? He wasn't willing to defend his bride. He wasn't willing to stand in the gap and make sure that she was going to be well provided for, well taken care of and protected. He, he wasn't willing to do that. He was willing to sell her out to protect his own flesh to protect his own life. And so as a result, he puts her in this very, very vulnerable position because he was not trusting in the Lord. But you know what it does tell us in the scriptures in 1 Peter chapter 3, it gives us some interesting insight as to why Sarai submitted to Abraham. Okay, now just to be fair, God does not ask us or call us or tell us to submit to somebody who's calling us to be deceptive. He never does. But nonetheless, it gives us this insight, this specific insight. And it tells us in 1 Peter chapter 3 that the reason she submitted to Abram wasn't because she was trusting him, but because she was trusting in the Lord. And this is very important because here's one of the things that the Lord was impressing on my heart with this particular portion of scripture where he is about ready to pull a power move, okay? He's going to demonstrate a power move on her behalf. But in this particular portion of scripture, the Lord was just, was highlighting to me that there are many of you, many of you, that you are connected to somebody who has made some bad decisions, like Abram was making bad decisions in this particular situation. And because of that, you're experiencing the repercussions of that. You're experiencing the fallout of that. You're experiencing some of the consequences of that. And the Lord says he sees and he knows and he wants you to know that he is coming through for you and he's going to pull a power move on your behalf. He's not going to leave you out with a sense of abandonment because you have to know that Sarai could have easily just felt like she was abandoned, but she was not. She might have been betrayed by her husband and she was, but she was not betrayed by God. And there's some of you, there's people who should have come to your defense. There's people who should have stood with you. There's people who who should have stood alongside of you. There's people who should have showed up for you when they didn't. And there is that sense of abandonment or sense of betrayal that you are dealing with. And the Lord wants you to know today that God himself, he has not betrayed you. He has not abandoned you. And he is going to pull a power move on behalf of you. And I want you to see this in this passage. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 14, 
It says, so it was when Abram came into Egypt that the Egyptians saw the woman, that she was very beautiful. The princes of Pharaoh also saw her and commended her to Pharaoh. And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. He treated Abram well for her sake. He had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male and female servants, female donkeys and camels. How many of you know, sometimes we can be in a situation where we feel betrayed or we're dealing with the consequences of somebody else's bad decisions, and yet they seem like they're the ones prospering. They seem like they're the ones benefiting. But I want you to see what God does for Sarai. In verse 17, it says, but the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. What did God do? God pulled a power move on behalf of Sarai. God pulled a power move on behalf of Sarai. Why? Because she was trusting in him. Abram wasn't trusting in him, but Sarai was trusting in him. And I want you to understand this today. I want you to catch this today because the Lord says he is going to pull a power move for you, my friend. Even though you may be yoked or or linked or, or dealing with the consequences of somebody else's bad decisions, or you might feel like you're being limited or held back by somebody else's bad decisions, or you might feel like you've been betrayed because of somebody else's poor decisions, the Lord says that he himself is going to pull a power move on your behalf that is going to position you, that's going to shift the favor in your direction because there is something that needs shifting. There is something that needs opening. There is something that some area where you need a breakthrough and God says he's the one who's going to do it for you. This is not something that's going to happen through the arm of flesh, but it is something that is going to reveal the heart of God for you, the love of God for you, the commitment of God towards you. Like I said, it may not come in the way that you expect. It may look different than the way you anticipate. And sometimes we're not even aware of it until we've walked somewhat through it. Okay. But I need you to know today, God wants you to hear today. He has sent me here to tell you today that he is going to perform a power move for you. I want you to receive this today. I want you to make it personal today. And I just declare over you, my friend, in faith, according to this word, that your God is going to flex his muscles on your behalf to perform a power move, to shift some things into your favor that needs shifting, to open a door that needs opening, to move the boulder, to move the hindrance that needs removing, to give you the breakthrough that needs to be broken open for you, to bring Bring that that blessing that needs to come, that increase that God desires you to walk in. God says he's going to perform a power move for you because you're trusting him, because you're believing him because you're keeping your eyes fixed on him. And I want to encourage you today, my friend, to continue to do so. Don't look to the arm of flesh. Don't look to what men have done or haven't done, but look unto your God because your God sees you, your God hears you, your God knows what you're walking through. And he says he will do it. He's the one who's going to perform the power move for you that you need, that you need. I pray this blesses your heart today because this is the word that the Lord has given me to deliver to you. And listen, if you are new here, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that like button below. And this is all I have for us for now. But as always, I look forward to being back again with you soon. God bless.